Church Tech Weekly presents Infocom 2013, brought to you by Bose Professional Systems, committed to developing best-in-class products, tools, and services to create original audio experiences. All right, continuing our Infocom 2013 coverage, we've come over to the Hitachi booth, and Hitachi is releasing a new, uh, kind of a unique product for them. It's a new single-chip DLP projector, and I'm here with Edgar. He's going to tell us a little bit about the new Hitachi 9000 series. So, Edgar, go ahead. Yeah, so the 9000 series is going to be available around August time frame, and to your point, um, Hitachi has been predominantly 3 LCD. Um, we have uh, elected to examine other technologies, and this 9000 series is is our first DLP um, models, set of models, and but what we did, what was really interesting with this is um, it is dual lamp, it's anywhere from 8500 to 10,000 lumens, but we did some interesting technology in the way to increase the image quality as and as well as some of the functionality. Um, that is, uh, for instance, one of the items is we put and built in a dual color wheel in the Hitachi. Why would we do that? Well, some of the manufacturers will, you know, if you understand the DLP technology, there's a wheel in there that spins. They'll use a secondary wheel and put it in the box for, um, for instance, church venues. If they knew they were going to be more video centric than data centric, they would elect to use one wheel over the other. But that requires that you open the chassis and install that in. A little time consuming for someone. Since we put in this built-in color wheel, simply with a press of the remote control, I can go to video over to the more brighter data-centric setting. And that's a Hitachi exclusive. That's very cool, and there are three models of this thing with different resolutions and brightness levels as well? Absolutely, so you have your XGA at 10,000 lumens, and then your high def, and your WXGA at 8,500 lumens. Okay, and uh, as you said, dual lamp design, uh, life expectancy on the lamps is pretty pretty solid. Yeah, um, been made a lot of improvements in lamps, and on a model like this, you're looking at around 2,000 hours on the lamp, um, so when that in combination with the filters because uh, they even though it is DLP we still use a filter to f help it free from haze and contaminants and things of that nature um, and that's about 20 20,000 hours so essentially you can almost forget the, forget the filter and just really the only upkeep is the lamp uh, every every 2,000 hours. Yeah, and the availability on this thing is going to be when? Uh, availability for the 9,000 series, and that's the three models, will be late August, early September. Okay, and I think pricing is still be de to be determined. Pricing still to be t determined to be competitive with uh, with uh, the com comparable manufacturers products that are out there. Awesome, and if people want to learn more, what's the website to uh, check out? Uh, it would be. Uh, and that, that, that's the trickiest question of them all today, uh, but uh, it, the Hitachi.com sites and uh, they find it under projectors. You expect to find that data out there again come late August. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah, some really good projectors. A, a single chip DLP from Hitachi, which we're not used to seeing, but uh, some great technology built into this thing. A lot of features and low maintenance, which is really nice when it's hanging 35 feet in the air in the middle of your auditorium. So, a uh, really good product there. And to your point, um, the Hitachi also enabled through the engineering, I would be remiss in not mentioning that they took a couple of technologies. Uh, for instance, one is a high dynamic contrast range where once you introduce light into the equation, your contrast values or your screen image and the contrast, the details change. There's built-in correction for that. So knowing that the lights either come on or come off as they would do, for instance, in a church setting or other applications, um, it compensates for that. Um, there's another setting called Accentualizer that tries to make it more flat panel like so essentially the sharpness gloss shadows and shades all get enhanced making depth of perception a lot greater those are some of the elements that we introduced in a DLP product like this very cool so good product from Hitachi check out their website at Hitachi.com look for the new 9000 series projectors